Indy Mogul. No powers, no rules, but that also means no 3D, no special effects. Hmm, you're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Kick-Ass. I'm kick-ass. Will anti-heroes kicking it old school seize the day at the box office? Last year, another edgy comic book adaptation hit theaters, Watchmen, and failed at the box office, especially when you consider its $130 million budget. Director Zack Snyder lost his 300 shine. Meanwhile, Kick-Ass opened two weeks ago in England in third place with just $5.9 million. Uh-oh, what will happen when American audiences are introduced to this ultra-slick and ultra-violent flick that features a young girl that disembowels criminals and swears like a sailor? Let's not forget how Dr. Manhattan's glowing blue junk turned off audiences last year. But the buzz couldn't be stronger for Kick-Ass, which stays so true to its gritty comic book origins that Hollywood studios refused to finance the film. So director Matthew Vaughn, who wrote the script when Mark Miller was writing the comic, raised enough money on his own to finance the film independently. Production company Plan B Entertainment eventually signed on as well, which is run by none other than Brad Pitt. The man must have some kind of movie producing superpower since he's brought solid hits to the screen like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Time Traveler's Wife, and The Departed. And he's not even in those movies. Now that kind of ego-free business savvy is kick-ass. <laughs> Hey Indie Mogul, this is James Lee Films, and you're watching a 10 second trailer to my new short, Desolate. So some people are offended by this movie, and some people love it. Which are you? I liked it a lot. It's actually pretty good. You know, no matter how you look at it, I mean, as long as you have an open mind, you, you look at it both ways. In my opinion, it was awesome. It was uh, a lot of homages to uh, a lot of movies. Uh, Kill Bill, Death the Smoochie. Death uh, the Smoochie? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I kind of like the, the comics, so I kept reading the comics. Um, there's like six comics books so far, and um, it was pretty good. It was interesting. You've seen this movie early, haven't you? I did. I actually got a sneak peek of it last uh, last month with a little question and answer thing with uh, Ramita and Millar, the writers of Kick-Ass. Oh, so, so I have to say, it's not selling out. It's not that crowded in there. No, which I was uh, shocked because it's like the perfect comic book movie and I Ooh. figured if you're a comic book fan, it would be linings of people. Why do you think it's not more crowded? Um, well, it's an early show, so I, but I, 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 I got a feeling word of mouth and uh, repeat goes because I'm definitely going to come back again. Oh, you are? You're a seat again? Oh, yes. People probably think it's lame. Like, I thought it was going to be lame when I come in here. I thought it was just going to be another um, stupid movie because that's McLovin. Most of the people that it's geared towards have already seen it. Like. I've already seen it, so I'm not going to go see it on opening day, but I am going to see it again. But oh. they had so many pre-screenings and such that it's just kind of been out there for a while, and now people are actually going to have to pay for it. They're just on the they're waiting. Who was your favorite character? I'd say Kick-Ass. It had to be Hit Girl. I mean, yeah, she was awesome. Hit Girl. Oh, cool. Yeah, because yeah. she's like... Kick-Ass and Hit Girl. They're well, a good team. Kick-Ass yeah. was lame. I didn't like the fact that Kick-Ass became more of a supporting character in the end. Some parts are weird. Like, Nicolas Cage was like, just a weird guy. When he's the actual character of Big Daddy, yeah. it is the best thing in movies like I've seen in the, over the Dark Knight. You know? Wow. Well, Nicolas Cage has wanted to be a superhero for a long time. He did a great job in this. What do you say to the controversy about it being so violent? Um, first of all, it's R-rated, so you know it's violent, and you don't have to see it. Now, unless you actually say offended, I can see why. You know, just because, you know, you have little kids in there, you know, getting stabbed and getting shot at, you know, stuff like that. But, I mean, it is a movie, so it's not real. It's violent, but it's the fact that she's looking up to the father, and that's the way she she's sharing his love, and that's the way they connect with each other, and that's the relationship they had. So, no, I don't see any, con I mean, the controversy, I guess, what she does throughout the movie, but it's in, it's in order to enrich her, her character and her, and so you can, I, kind of connect with her, even though we're not going to all go out and kill people, but... <laughs> Kids don't try to stay home, and adults enjoy the movie. So what movie do you think is a better representation of comic books? Iron Man, like those movies, or Kick-Ass? Definitely Iron Man, because that uh, that's more of like a story-driven superhero story rather than like just a quick in-your-face action movie, which is what Kick-Ass and the comic is. I'm waiting for that, actually, Iron Man 2, so I would say Iron Man. 
What do you think? I'm a fan of Iron Man, so yeah. I have to go with that. How about you? I'll agree. I would say this was a little bit better, but um, Iron Man 2 will probably be better than this. This is more like a mall rats type of, of uh, you know, for a comic book. For the for the fan for the fanboys, you know what I mean. So did you guys read the comic? No, I was just dragged here this morning. Oh, you were dragged. All right. So how did, what did you think of it? It was kick ass. I gave it two ass cheeks up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So in terms of uh, one to ten, what do you give it? I'll give it an eight. A hard eight. Ten. I'd give it an eight. I'll, I'll give it an eight. Yeah. I'll give it like a twenty-five or thirteen. As a comic book movie, a ten. As your average, like off the street, hey, what's going on? Let's go see a movie. Mm -hmm. Movie. Uh, I'm gonna say like an eight. So kick ass kind of kicks ass as audiences give the movie an eight point five. And don't forget that kick ass is the focus of this week's one sentence review challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your one to ten rating below as well as your one sentence review. Whoever Whoever writes the best one gets a free pair of AMC movie tickets, and I'll announce the winner this Sunday on my Facebook page. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.